Hi old folks, this is Max from GalaxyNexusRoot.com. So I've got a review of the Apex ROM by um, XDA user Big C. Uh, I've been using his ROM on some of my Nexus S devices and I would have to say he has a pretty solid ROM, especially for the Galaxy Nexus. And also this ROM is available for both GSM and CDMA, so you can get it whether you have the unlocked version like me or um, Verizon. Um, this one's kind of cool because um, it comes with a lot of stuff, just kind of all there. Uh, it comes with the Emo Xeon kernel, um, which you can overclock to 1.35 gigahertz without use of set CPU. You can go to customizations under um, settings here, and you can you can uh, tweak the performance. I would recommend um, setting it to Interactive X. I find that is a good combination of overclocking plus good battery life. Um, max C CPU, I set it at the highest, 1.35 gigahertz. Um, also, you can even control the voltage, uh, which I probably wouldn't mess with. Um, it works fine as it is, and you can set it on boot if you want, like I did. Set it on boot. Um, whoops, hey, you don't have to set that on boot. And uh, that's the performance settings, and there's also a lot of other settings. Um, you can mess with the um, the uh, light sensor filter here, light levels. You can change the light levels so it's not too dim or too bright. Maybe, you know, you can even um, customize it even more. Um, there's also uh, device rotation settings. Um, so you can do 180 degrees, which I actually like to do. Yeah. It's great. Um, also, notification power widget, uh, widget buttons. You can you can change the widget buttons. Toggle brightness. Toggle um, 2G, 3G if you want. Airplane mode. Um, let's just put all these and see what it looks like. Um, sync. So now we should have a, a bunch of them. So this is a great way instead of just having a ton of you know toggles you can actually customize and just activate the ones you need so those are really the features about this ROM plus the overclocked kernel that's on it already and um, let me see here battery bar change all this stuff which is kinda cool um, and there's also trebuchet you can use to change the home screen number of home screen default home screen all this stuff um, you might find it useful and also widgets general auto oh, okay so that's about it other than that it's it's a pretty solid rom um actually i'm gonna stick with this because uh, i kind of like the developer um because i've been using it on nexus s and uh it seems like a lot of people like liking his rom anyways um so go ahead and try it out um there's a version for gsm and uh, also verizon lg lte 4g lte um, so flash the right versions. Let me know what you think. This should give you better battery life with those um, custom settings. Um, there's also custom boot animations and wallpapers. I believe all you have to do is copy over the custom uh, boot animation zip file to, um, I think, system media directory. Yeah. And that's it. So that's pretty much it. I kind of like this ROM. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'll have an updated review later, but so far I like it. Everything's pretty smooth. Um, so it's those customizations plus the overclocking and uh, it should be fun with this. Oh, you know what? Let's run a Quadrant real quick. I don't know if it's going to run. Sometimes it's kind of buggy on ICS. Let's do a final run here. Okay, for some reason it's not working. Anyway, check it out. Check the check out the ROM. Um, if you have any good ROM combo, don't forget to leave in the comments so I can try it next for Galaxy Nexus. Uh, anyway, subscribe. See y'all, folks.